Hi everyone. Welcome to Double Check App. In this video, we will see how we can create a custom bot. Before we proceed, we need to understand what is a custom bot and what is the use of it. A custom bot is an automated software mechanism that helps you to perform certain tasks with very less human intervention or no, inter no human intervention at all. So we will see how you can create the custom bot on a double tick app. Let's proceed. You need to log into the double tick web. For that, you can go to web.doubletick.io. Enter your registered mobile number and the OTP that you receive via text message on WhatsApp. Enter the text message, the OTP that you receive, and you will get into the account. Come to the left hand side, you would see a tab called bots. Once you click on it, click on create new bot button. Once you click on it, you get a page like this. Now this entire page is completely blank, which means there is no bot at all. There is no bot has been created. So you need to, first of all, enter the name of the bot. So in my case, I am creating a bot, which is a support bot for my company. So I enter double check support. Once you enter the name, it will get saved automatically. Now the next process is to visualize and understand how the entire support bot will work. Now at the left hand side, you see there are certain buttons. In triggers, you see there is a button called on message. In actions, there are three buttons send the message, send interactive message, and send template. Now, what are these buttons? Let me click on this on message. Now, this on message is the starting point of the bot, which means if any particular user is using uh, any particular word keyword like help or support, it will trigger another message to them. So let's see how does it work. In my case, I want my customer that in case if they type help or support, it should trigger a message to them, an interactive uh, message to them or a template to them. So for that, I have already created a template. I clicked on the send template button. Once I click on it, there's another block that comes here. Now I have already got a template approved. I'll select that particular template from the from this particular list. This is the template that I have already created, DT support bot. I select this. Now, this entire template is already approved from WhatsApp. I will first of all simply drag from this particular point to this point. You see it comes with a plus sign. Leave it. Once you leave this, it you will see that it is now got connected. Now, what does this mean? If a user types in help or support on WhatsApp, on their WhatsApp, it will trigger this entire message. Now, what this entire message says, hello, welcome to double tick support. Please select an option for quick help. Now, customer will get these three buttons, double tick support, general query or complaints. Now, each button would have different functionalities. Here, I can make another block. Depending on those blocks, we will connect them. So let's see for complaints what we do. Let's imagine that a customer hits the complaints button. I want my customer that once they hit the complaints button, they should directly get a message automatically saying that the escalation team will connect with them as soon as possible. So this complaint buttons is actually a trigger that would help to get another, uh, fetch another message. So for that, I click on this on message which is again a trigger i connect with this one i write here complaints now i want them to receive a message saying the concerned team will get back to you as soon as possible. Now we will connect this complaint 
trigger with the send message. Now let's understand the entire flow once again. The customer will send help or support. Once they send it on WhatsApp, they will get this message with these three buttons automatically. If they hit a complaints button, which is a trigger, it will trigger this message on their WhatsApp. The concern team will get back to you as soon as possible. So this is how you will actually create the entire bot. Let's see another example, how to connect another button with uh, another block, a trigger block. In this example, we will see for the button called double tick setup support, how it would work. So I need to put in a trigger first. This is a trigger. Now we will connect the button with the trigger. And once the customer hits this particular button, we want the customer to receive certain messages. So this time we will use another button called send interactive message. Once you click on this, it will open up another block. Now in this block, you can enter the header, the body, footer, all of these. We do not need any header, so we'll leave that blank. We will come to the body section, and in the body section, we can simply type what help do you need. Now, we can give a few options. Please note that you can give a maximum of three options here. If you need to give more than three, you give two options, and the third one will be like a more button. So let's see how does it work. These are the two buttons that I have created, which means the, um, that, that the user, once they hit the double tick setup support button, they will get these two buttons along with this message. What help do you need? Now, I want that the moment when they hit any of these two buttons, the customer should receive a message called the support team will get back to you. The support team will get back to you. Now, this is a message that they will receive. I will simply connect it with this. This is how we can connect. So this is how the entire bot will actually work. I have three buttons here. Out of those three, I have and I have created the flow for first, uh, the first one and third one. Sim similarly, we can create the entire bot for the second button as well. Now, this is how this bot actually looks like. This is the simplest uh, way of uh, creating a bot. Now, to proceed uh, and to activate this particular bot, we will save this bot first. Once we save it, we'll get a message called "Bot saved successfully." And Click on this activate button. Bot is set to active. Now you will see that once you come back here in the bot section, you will see that double tick support bot is already active. If you want to see it, click on it and you would see that the entire bot is active. Now let's demonstrate that how does it actually work on WhatsApp. Now to see a quick demonstration. We are there on WhatsApp. Now this is the double tick app support number. I assume that I'm a customer and I need a support or I need a help. So I'll simply type help. The moment when I type help and I send it, I get an automated message. Now I have an option to select any of these three options. Let's say I have any complaint. I click on this complaints button. The moment when I click on the complaints button, it will trigger another message that we created on the bot. This is how it would work. Let's try with another button. I click on double tick setup support. The moment when I click on it, it will trigger another message with a few buttons. Here it is. Now, let's imagine that I as a customer, I want help to get my meta page verified. So I 
click on this button. Once I click on it, you would see that it triggers another message. So if you notice, there is no manual intervention. There is no human intervention at all. All these things are getting done automatically. All you have to do is that create the bot correctly and it will help you all your customers to go through the entire flow automatically. Thank you so much.